And welcome to today's program of Engine, the show where we keep on inquiring, keep on discovering, and keep on learning. Now, today I want you to listen very carefully. Don't make a sound. What can you hear? You can hear the TV and Auntie making food, and baby brother playing. You can hear sounds. What is a sound and how do we hear sounds? How can we make different sounds? Well, that's what we're going to be learning about today. Are you ready to learn? With your thinking hats on and your brains switched on, let's go! Let's go. Let's go. We're learning every day. Have you ever played the sound game? Let me explain how you can play. Find a friend and blindfold them. Make sure they can't see a thing. No peeking. Then make some different sounds from things you find around your compound and see if they can guess what the sounds are. What a fun game! You can try that at home with your friends and family. There are many different sounds and they're made in many different ways. We hear sounds because of vibrations. Vibrating means moving very fast. Let's shake ourselves very fast. Let's get an education about vibrations. I'm going to bang my drum. Can you hear that powerful sound? Now watch as I'm going to put some rice on the drum. And as I bang the drum, observe very carefully what happens to the rice. See how it moves and vibrates? The same thing is happening to the air around the drum. Air is made up of lots of tiny particles that you cannot see, that we call molecules. If something makes a sound, like my drum, it vibrates the air molecules close to it, causing them to vibrate. Let me take the rice off my drum and bang it again. Now, as we look at my drum as I bang it, we know that the bang is making air molecules that we can't see to vibrate. Once a sound starts, a few molecules vibrating knock into more molecules and the vibration is passed on, making the molecules next to the molecule to vibrate too. This continues and the process is called a sound wave. If the sound wave reaches our ears, it hits something we call the eardrum and that vibrates, sending messages to the brain, and we can recognize that sound as beautiful music, noisy traffic, or your mum calling you that it's lunchtime. You cannot see these sound waves or vibrations, but if you're hearing a sound, you know that there are air molecules vibrating, and there's a process of a sound wave. When the source of the sound wave is far away, the sound wave has to travel farther. As the sound wave travels, the vibrations become less and less. So by the time it reaches your ear and brain, 
the sound seems quieter than if the source of the sound is right next to you when the sound waves have less distance to travel. So, for the rest of the show, listen very carefully and feel those sound wave vibrations. <laughs> Hey, not too quick. You have to wash your hands for 20 seconds. I will show you how. Palm to palm. Back of hands. Between fingers. Backs of the fingers. Thumbs. Fingernails. Rinse and dry. Great job. Well done. Let's go. Science, you and me. I hear thunder. I hear thunder. Don't you too? Hark, don't you? Peter Potter raindrops, Peter Potter raindrops. I'm wet through, so are you. I hear thunder, I hear thunder. Hear it roar, hear it roar. Peter Potter raindrops, Peter Potter raindrops. I'm wet through, so are you. Wow! Did you see that flash of lightning? Oh! That thunder is so loud! I'm scared. It's a really big storm and I'm soaking wet. When you see the lightning, if you count the number of seconds until you hear the thunder, you can tell how close the eye of the storm is and if you're in danger of being struck by lightning. Look, see that lightning. Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there is the thunder. But why is that? Well, thunder is a sound and lightning is light. Sound and light are similar in that they are both forms of energy that travel in waves. Ah, I see light waves travel much, much faster than sound waves. Light is faster than sound. Yes, that's right. In the air, the speed of light is about 300,000 kilometers per second. In the air, sound travels at just 332 meters per second. So one million times slower. The speed of light is so fast that we see the lightning first. The sound waves from the thunder travel much slower. That's why we hear thunder later, even though they initially both happen at the same time. I get it. But how can we tell how far the storm is? We can do a calculation. Let me explain. If we want to know how many kilometers the lightning has traveled, we can find out how far away the eye of the storm is. So, like before, let's count the number of seconds from when we see lightning to hearing thunder. Wow! Did you see that flash? One, two, three... <laughs> 28, 29, 30... Thunder! That was 30 seconds. Now, divide that number by five, and this will give you an estimate on how many kilometers you are from the lightning. So, we counted 30 seconds. That means 30 divided by five is six. So the lightning is around six kilometers away. Oh no, it's very close. We're at risk of being struck by lightning. We should try and seek shelter in a safe place. A safe place to shelter is inside a car with all the windows shut or in a building with a lightning road. Standing under this tree is not safe. We had better go. Let's get inside the car. Next time you see a flash of lightning count until you hear the thunder. Remember, you'll see the lightning first because light 
travels faster than sound. Okay, let's go. Mastering our breathing can really help us focus. It helps us at school and even when we are exercising or being active. Lots of people need to be master breathers in order to perform better, like athletes and musicians. Today, we're going to practice breathing like master drummers. We're going to copy the drum pattern and breathe deeply. First, let's get our rhythmic breathing. Slowly breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Good. Now copy the drumming pattern on your legs, but keep breathing deeply in and out. Focus on breathing deeply in and out and let your hands keep drumming. Practice by yourself after the show. Listen to the sound of your breath going in and out as you breathe deeply next time you need to focus and want to ignore the distractions around you. Let's go. Let's go. It's some sounds are so enjoyable for us to listen to. Music is a sound that can help us express feelings. Let's explore now the sound of music. Let me show you something first, and you can try this at home. I've got two rulers here, a long one and a short one. I'm going to ping or vibrate them on the side of my table. Look and listen to what happens. A long length of ruler vibrates more slowly than a short length and makes a lower sound. When an object vibrates quicker, like my short ruler, it gives us a higher pitched sound. When an object vibrates slower, like my long ruler, it gives us a lower pitch sound. Pitch is the quality of the sound, so we can tell if this is a high sound or a low sound. Musicians use this science to help make us beautiful music. Today, we have a chance to meet world-famous Joel Sebunjo, who plays an instrument called a kora. Let's find out how he uses sound to make meaningful music. Hello, Joel. Welcome to Engine. Hello, thank you. Wow. Can you tell us a little bit about this instrument and where it comes from? Uh, this instrument is called the kora. It's uh, from the western part of Africa and it's one of the oldest African instruments. It's a string instrument. It's made from fishing lines. In, in Senegal and Mali and Gambia, people eat a lot of fish. And these are, this is the string they use to go to fish. This is what we call the neck. Then we have the strings. This is what makes the sound, the strings. Then we have the bridge. We have something here. This is the heart of this instrument. The strings have to sit on this wooden part so that the sound can vibrate. This is what causes the vibration. The kora has 21 sounds, and every single sound is different. What are those silver knobs for? These are called tuning pegs. This is what we use to change the sound of every note. Because an instrument, before you play an instrument, you have to make sure it is in tune. Tune means it has to be at the right pitch. What is a pitch? <laughs> a pitch is the highness or lowness of sound. Okay. And every single string here has a unique sound that we need to have it sound like. The length of the strings determines the, the, the pitch, the highness or the lowness of the, the sound. If you look here, this is, the, this is one of the longest strings on this panel and it's the, low, it's the lowest. And this one is the shortest and it's the highest. The longer, the lower the sound. The shorter, the higher the pitch. But also, the thickness of the strings determines the, the heaviness. This is the thickest string we have, and it's the heaviest sound we have. It is the bass. 
and this is the lightest, and this is the sharpest. What makes our African sound unique? Uh, in Africa, the nature is, is very much part of the music because normally music is performed in the communities and when people are singing and dancing and clapping, you can hear the birds screaming, you can see the cows moving around the village, you can, you can see the chicken running out up in the compound. And also when they're making the instruments, they're using things from the nature and sometimes they try to imitate the, the sounds of the nature. You see this instrument, it's made from local wood, from, from the forest, you know, somewhere. Yeah. Some instruments have the skin of the cow. When they cut the cow for meat, <laughs> they don't just throw the skin. Yes. They'll put the skin to make a drum. What tips would you give our engine viewers if they want to learn the kora or any other instrument? Our dear viewers, it's very simple. The first step is have the instrument at home. When you get the instrument at home, then just practice, listen to a lot of music, and then discover the instrument, and also share with your friends. You can have your instrument, have your guitar, then get your friend in the neighborhood with a drum, then you play as a group. The more you play as a group, the more you discover the sounds of these instruments. Not so? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so You're much, welcome. Joel Sebunjo. You're welcome. Please keep on playing that beautiful sound. I'll play for you a tune from, uh, from the Gambia called Banile and enjoy it. You can also clap if you want. <laughs> <laughs> the tissues out. You need three elastic bands of different sizes, as each size will make a different sound. Put the elastic bands over the box, then you can pluck them and hear the different sounds depending on the tightness and thickness of the band. You can pluck them all together and you can even play a song. Have the music playing! I'm Miss Dorothy in Uganda, and I'm a teacher. I teach children who are deaf or hearing impaired. I teach them using sign language. You can say anything using sign language, so deaf and hearing impaired children can learn everything, just like kids who can hear well. But did you know that deaf people can also hear and play music? At the school where I teach, deaf children sing and dance every day. 
and they enjoy it so much. While the deaf do not hear the sound in their ears, they can sense the vibration that comes from the sound waves. If you stand in front of the loudspeaker, you will feel the sound waves vibrating through your body. That's how deaf people listen to music. And how do the deaf play music? You may ask. They use the vibrations caused by musical sounds of their instrument to help them feel the music. When you meet someone who is deaf and you cannot speak their language, the sign language, try playing music together. It's a great way to connect and communicate. Are you a teacher? Do you want to be part of our show? The Africa Teacher Challenge is on. Record a two-minute video lesson on a subject you are passionate about. Upload it on YouTube and send us the link on ngntvafrica at gmail.com. If we use your video in our show, you will receive 150 US dollars. Let's go. Hey, did you know that Legra exercise makes your brain smart? So let's get to it. I'm going to show you the hip hop dance and dance together. Here we go. Very easy. You can invite your grandma, your father, and your mom to join together. The first one, you have to bring your palm side and look at my palm this side over. So once I open it, you bring your leg, you, you bring your leg front, yeah, and then you shift your side. You also bring your leg front. So you're gonna one, two, three, four, and now we shape our arms by doing one, two. Three, four, and then afterwards, you have to wide your legs, and then you can find your posture, which one you like. I want to do this, and you can find another one if you want to add. If you want to copy, it's fine. And I'm changing, and I'm changing, and I'm changing, and I start. Yeah. So I hope you learn it. We are going to start a little bit fast. Yeah. Five, six. Here we go. Wow, that was amazing. So remember to exercise every day. It's time for a brain booster. Complete the sentence. When you hear a sound, it means there are air molecules vibrating and there is a process called A sound wave. Imagine there is a storm coming. You see lightning on the horizon, and 15 seconds later, you hear thunder. How close is the eye of the storm? Three kilometers away, five kilometers away, 15 kilometers away. It is three kilometers away. Take shelter. People with a hearing disability, even complete hearing loss, can play instruments. True or false? True, they use the vibration of their instrument to help them feel the sound that they create. Well done! Wow! Thank you so much for listening. We have learned so much about sound. 
make sure you try and identify different sounds in your day. Think about how they're traveling to you and why you're hearing them as either loud or quiet. And have a go at using your voice or an instrument to make some beautiful music for someone you know. I think it's time for one last vibration and then I'm going to sound wave you goodbye and see you next time. Keep on inquiring, keep on discovering and keep on learning.